All right, let's graph this rational function. The first thing we're going to do is factor the numerator and denominator. And you can factor the numerator by grouping. That's probably the easiest way to do it. There's a couple other ways you could go, but grouping is going to be the easiest way. And when all is said and done, there's our factorization. And the first step in graphing a rational function is identifying the vertical asymptotes. And when we look to the denominator, we look to where the denominator is 0. Now we have to be careful. If the numerator is simultaneously 0, there will not be a vertical asymptote. So when we look at this rational function, we see that negative 2 is simultaneously a 0 for the denominator and the numerator. So that means it's not a vertical asymptote. The only vertical asymptote here is x equals 2. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and put that on our graph. So x equals 2. So we're going to have a vertical asymptote right there. Now the other 0 of the denominator is going to, call, is going to generate a hole. So there will be a hole at x equals negative 2. Now to figure out what the y-coordinate is, we actually cancel out the x plus 2, reducing the fraction to, let's multiply it back out, x squared minus 1 over x minus 2. And if we plug negative 2 into that simplified expression right here, that will give us the value of the whole. So negative 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. We're going to have 3 over negative 4, so that's negative 3 fourths. That's going to be the hole in the graph. So negative 2, negative 3 fourths. That's somewhere about right there. All right, let's now go to the other asymptote. The other asymptote in this case is going to be slanted. So the degree of the numerator here is greater than the degree of the denominator by 1. So when we do our long division, we will get a linear expression, which will be our slant asymptote. And we can use this reduced function for this purpose right here. So we're going to do long division, x minus 2 into x squared plus 0x minus 1. x goes into x squared x times. That gives us, gives us x squared minus 2x. We then subtract and that will give us positive 2x, drop the negative 1, and then x goes into 2x two times. And now we're done. We can stop right there. Our slanted asymptote is y equals x plus 2. So let's go ahead and graph that. That's a line. The y-intercept is 2, and the slope is 1. So it's going to go right through those boxes. Slope of 1. <clears throat> OK, now let's find our intercepts. The x-intercepts are where the numerator is 0, as long as the denominator is not simultaneously 0. So we see that there's two x-intercepts, 1, 0 and minus 1, 0. y-intercept, we go to the original function, plug in x equals 0, and we're left with negative 2 over negative 4, which is 1 half. So that is our y-intercept. Let's plot these intercepts. 1 comma 0. Whoops, different color. That's fine. Negative 1 comma 0, and then 0 comma 1 half. Now we're ready to graph. When we look at this graph, what I want you to think about is this vertical asymptote subdividing the plane into two regions. There's a region on the left, which is going to have an upper region and a lower region. And then there's a region on the right with an upper region and a lower region. A rational function will have curves in one of the two places. So in this region to the left, this big vertical region, it either is going to have a curve down here 
or a curve up here. It has to approach both asymptotes. Now we see the points here in the graph, so that means the curve has got to be down there. So that's where we're going to graph it. So our graph is going to come around and approach that asymptote. It's also going to come through the hole and approach that diagonal asymptote, that slanted asymptote. And now when we go to the right, we have two choices. Again, either the graph is down here in the lower region, approaching both asymptotes, but if it were down here, it would cross the x-axis and we would have found another x-intercept. So it's not down here. It must be in this upper region and it must approach both asymptotes. So it's going to look something like this. No hole there. Color that in. And that will be our graph. We have one hole right there. All right. Enjoy.